Welcome, minion. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stream. In order to ensure the highest possible quality of stream, please acquaint yourself with the following guidelines. Number one, no spoilers and no backseat gaming. I realize that it is extremely tempting to shout out advice or scream, he's behind you, when the bad guy appears, but if you could refrain from doing so, it would greatly reduce the stress on other viewers and the moderators. There could be exceptions to this rule if I get completely lost and end up basically asking for advice, but you'll know when that happens because I'll probably be going, okay, chat, I'm completely lost, help me out. Number two, be nice. This is a pretty broad guideline, but it includes things like being polite to people, trying not to pick fights, no profanity, and of course, no bigotry. Number three, no drama. This is an extension of number two, really, be nice, but it includes the guideline of not engaging in controversial subjects that are not related to the stream at hand. The world is a difficult place, there are serious issues that need to be discussed by serious people at a serious place and in a serious manner. This is not that place or time. This is a place for people to leave their cares and worries behind and just have some fun. So please leave any issues you have at the door and just enjoy yourself. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Gopher is in stealth mode. Sort of, I've been here a while. Just checking everything. I want to say a big thank you to Johan Ventus, who sent a super chat many hours ago. Thank you very much. £24. Thank you very much. I'm guessing you're not here now. Hopefully you'll be able to watch the video later on. Thank you very much. Thomas CT, remembered. I'm going to 
come up with a better term for that. Um, <laughs> two months, thank you very much. And on the subject of thanking people, I want to thank a certain patron. Actually, you know what? I want to thank all the patrons. All the people who support me on Patreon. Love you guys lots. But I want to especially thank Faintum, I think he's called. And I know he watches these streams, although possibly after the fact. Thank you for your kind words. I really did appreciate them. It's always nice to hear someone, you know, basically say nice things. We all love to hear nice things. Yes, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a nice comforting feel. As you just said, in, in the, we've got a patron channel in um, Discord. And I just actually said there that we need a big hug emote. We need a gopher themed big hug emote. So I can send big hugs out. I had to make do with sending a uh, chest full of sweet rolls. So, where, do, we, do, do, we, do we have an emote on YouTube? Super chat? Or not uh, members? Do we have? Do we have the sweet roll one? Do we have it? Chest of sweet rolls? If not, I need to get on that. I need to get on that. Gopher has lovely skin. Okay, that wasn't at all weird. <laughs> sweet rolls! Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh, there you go. Need to get some more anyway. Want some more? Want some more emotes? I've become, I've become the internet. I want all the emote. Mm. Oh dear. Have I missed anything else? You still do not understand Moobot. I don't think we've got Moobot on YouTube. Do we have Moobot on YouTube? I don't think we do. Moobot is basically a bot moderator on Twitch. I still don't have the moo working, by the way. I still don't. I keep meaning to do it, and I keep forgetting. That's all it is. There's almost certainly a dead easy fix for this when we moo. But I'm going to do it now. I'm going to moo. I'm going to moo. I'm mooing. I'm mooing. You guys can't hear the mad cow moo. You can't hear the mad cow moo. Ah. Moo. Moo. I may know why. Moo. I may know why, but I may not be able to fix it live is it you can you're hearing the moo you heard the moo oh brilliant i don't know why it wasn't working last time then you got the moo <laughs> you got it there you go you've been mooed too much cow oh my god that's loud it's sort of supposed to be it was i didn't actually expect it to actually have sound this time um it's an old meme about mad cow disease and i used it I can't remember why or how. I can't. I just cannot remember. But it's just become a thing. <laughs> it's just become a thing. So it's not just about Moobot now. It was also... I, I, something else happened. And... And... Mooing is... It's, it's basically the gopher equivalent of Rickroll. Or Kappa. Already mooed and we haven't even misbehaved. Sorry, I didn't know it worked. I switched it on so that I could show that it wasn't working. That's just pretty much describes my streaming experience, really, doesn't it? That that just sums it up. That really does completely sum it up. A little more pleasant with the old um blue goblins. I'm awfully proud of that animation. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> yeah. Quite like that. Um, pat myself on the back there. I literally did that, actually, right now. You can't see it because I don't have a webcam, which is probably for the best. Nobody wants to see a middle-aged old man patting himself on the back. <laughs> oh. I have no idea where we're going with this conversation. I know your schedule is full, but have you considered playing Dragon's Dogma? I've considered playing it. I, I will not be able to stream. Look, here's... Right, guys. 
I bought System Shock yeah, when it came out. So however long that all was ago. And I still haven't played it for myself yet. I really want to. Um, I'm still testing too many other things and other random stuff. And I'm still setting up the VR so I can carry on with VR streaming. Um, and a few days ago, I bought myself another me game. And I'm not even going to tell you guys what it is. Because I know I'm going to get... Oh, no, I want to see you play that. I know you want to see that. I'm, it's going to be a me game. I'm having... It's a me game. I've got a list of these me games. Games are going to play for me. So Dragon's Dogma might be one of those. Dragon Dogma 2 as well. Um... I'm not completely sure games like that are great games for Let's Plays, like Dragon's Dogma. It's, it looks very action-y, but it'd be a great game for a stream, definitely. You know, when I've stopped playing Baldur's Gate and finished Divinity Original Sin 2 and finished my Skyrim VR playthrough and... Oh, oh, there is a distinct possibility... I'm going to try Cyberpunk in VR, so there's another thing! And I might inflict that upon you. You can totally roleplay Dragon's Dogma. It's not about whether you roleplay it, it's just about... It's more than that. My Let's Plays... The general Let's Plays I do... Um, it's not about... They don't even have to be roleplaying games. Red Dead Redemption 2 is not a roleplaying game. It is a game that I can bounce off not just the world but the characters in it I can bounce off them it's the best way to describe it and I can bounce off them as though I was there this is why generally my first person let's plays do better um, and I feel I can do I can do more with first person um so Evening over. Keep up the good work. AA, £10 super chat. Thank you very much. So, yeah. I mean, I'm so I'm not even I'm not even saying to you that, that it's not going to be a superb game. Because a lot of people think that's what I'm saying when I say it's not necessarily a good Let's Play mix for me. I'm just saying it's, you know, my, the best Let's Plays for me seem to be Bethesda Game Studios type games. Uh, and obviously Starfield has been a bit of a disaster. I suspect that's because there's still a lot of hate for Starfield. But I can play Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Skyrim, and I think it's because I can do more with it for my usual Let's Plays. Now, this doesn't mean I can't do other games. I mean, Kingdom Come Deliverance, Red Dead Redemption 2, etc. But they weren't as popular. They just weren't, even though I think those two games are absolutely superb. But do not get me wrong, this does not mean I'm only going to let's play Bethesda games from now on, because that would drive all of us mad. That would drive all of us mad. I'm going to play with the games I want to play, but I just, what I've got to do is pick the games I think will be the best um, for me to let's play that way. Streaming is different. I can sort of play different games on stream, but then look at Horizon Zero Dawn. I thought Horizon Zero Dawn was going to be very much a... Um, I, I mean, in many ways, it, it was what I was expecting. Horizon Zero Dawn was not a game where I got to bounce off too many characters, yeah? The, 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 it's not the sort of game where I can constantly chat to one companion and get on with them. Or, but at the same time, Horizon Zero Dawn caught me completely unawares. That was a superb game, an absolutely superb game. So... Is Fallout London going to be a Let's Play or a stream? Uh, let's Play. Almost certainly. Uh, Forbidden West is out today. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I realise I'm not going to get to play that as a me game, but then we're going to have to wait for several months before I can play it. Uh, there's a Fallout 4 next-gen update coming soon. Yeah, I'm really curious about that. I'm also curious as to how that's going to affect things like Fallout London. Sky Oblivion, 2025 release. Oh, I'm so looking forward to that. I am. Yes. Dual wielding Sawnoffs. What are we talking about? Oh, you're watching the Red Dead Redemption playthrough. So, yeah. So, how did I get onto this? Dragon's Dogma. But Dragon's Dogma just looks a bit more action based. 
which is great. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love them. And I'm not saying there isn't like a ton of role-playing game underneath there as well. But, you know, there are some games where... I, I don't know. They're going to be quite action combat heavy. Um, and that strikes me as one. Again, doesn't necessarily mean that it's not going to be a good mix. But if you look at most of my Let's Plays, they actually involve quite small and short amounts of combat, as a general rule. You loved my Prey Let's Play. Right, because again, it's an action game. It is an action game, but there's a lot in Prey for me to bounce off. And there's not a huge amount... It's, although it's an action game, it's not, like, non-stop fighting. Here's the thing. When I'm fighting, all you hear is me screaming, shouting, and grunting. <laughs> it's not the most inspiring commentary ever, right? What are your favourite moments in the Leonard Let's Play? Is it the fights? No, right? It's probably the snark with... Other, uh, other conversations with Indigo, right? It's 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 that. I think there's just something about them. Same with Joshua in Tale of Two Wastelands. It's less about the fighting and more. I don't know. There's just there's some. I can bounce. That's how I feel. That's how I describe it. I can bounce off things in the game. If that makes sense. So. Prey was a very underrated game. Oh, God, yes. Probably my favourite game of that year. I thought that was an absolutely superb game. A superb game. Mm. But, you know. You still swear my, by my Amnesia Dark Descent Let's Play. I still love that game. I did a review of the latest Amnesia, actually, and I, I think I waxed on a bit about how much I loved Amnesia The Dark Descent. But, yeah. But, again, all right, I mean, again, that sort of game, I could bounce off it. I think what it is, is the games I bounce off the most are the games where I get to be in the game. Where I get to feel like I am the character. You know, when I played Red Dead Redemption 2, I felt like I was Arthur walking into that camp. When I played Kingdom Come Deliverance, I felt like I was Henry and I was, you know, living that life. I still feel that in certain games like The Witcher, um, which of course is third person. Same with Mass Effect, but not as much. So whilst I still love those games, absolutely adore those games... They're harder for me to bounce off. They are. It's very hard in a third-person game to turn and look at someone. It just doesn't work. Because you don't turn and look in third-person games. You move the camera to look at yourself. Just you see what I'm saying? So, just... Although Dragon's Dogma... Is Dragon's Dogma third-person? It is third person, isn't it? That's that, I think that's probably what I'm getting at in the end, is it looks like a third person action game. But I might be wrong. I might be, I might be remembering the wrong trailer. But will I play it? I might sneak it into my play for myself game. <laughs> oh. Judging by his son size, I think Gopher would just trip over pets in his house. Oh, is someone asking if I've got pets? No. No. Pets generally love me, and I'm... It's not that I don't like pets either, but I don't... I, I don't like being licked. Okay? So, you know, dogs. <laughs> um, and cats just kind of irk me. <laughs> Cats irk me. Um, and it's not that I dislike them either. But they, they, they take liberties. The thing is, is there are some cats that I just, I, that don't. My mum's cat doesn't irk me because he doesn't take liberties. He doesn't come and sit on you. He sits near you sometimes. But he doesn't give you that look, like, you will scratch me. But if you do scratch him, 
Oh yeah, no, he'll he'll love you for it. So it's like that. I think I think it's just you know there's something about cats. <laughs> I think I'll look about them. But just yeah. <laughs> but no, I'm not a pet. Not a pet person. Um, I, I, the, the things like the hair all over the place would drive me nuts. Um, I think some, someone once described it and said, it's, I think the thing with cats is there's, there's, there's a little side of me relates to them and, and kind of, it's like, <laughs> you know, they give me the look like I'm in charge and they get the look back like, no, you're not. Um, so... Mm. <laughs> and dogs generally love me, although there was one dog we saw a year ago, two years ago. God, it hated me. Little, tiny, little thing, minuscule, size of half a cat. Wouldn't stop biting me, like, non-stop. <sighs> Didn't have the art heart to squish it though, because the owner was there. <laughs> Gover, I would have thought you were a pet person by the way you react to animals in games. Oh, you see, in theory, in theory, I don't mind animals. I love anything that's cute and cuddly. Um, and 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 to be honest, I used I'm I'm a complete sucker and a pushover. I mean. I think that's part of the reason that the, the like the cats will come over and they'll give me this arrogant look and I'll be like, sod off, you little git. And then they'll come and lie on me anyway and start purring and I'll be like, oh, I don't have the art to shove him off. And I kind of want to, I kind of want to flick him and go, oi, bugger off. But I just can't. I'm like, oh. I just feel like such a, you know, phallus. <laughs> so I let them, I let them take liberties because I'm like, I think sometimes that's why, like, if it, like with this dog that was biting me, little side me almost preferred that because had the owner not been there, I'd, I would have been like, <laughs> squish. <laughs> so cats, kn they know, they know the limit, though, don't they? They know how to just take the liberties enough, but at the same time, make you feel bad about shoving, like the lion that on you, like. Scratch me. And then you try and push him off, but it's hard. You ever tried pushing a cat off you if he doesn't want to be pushed off? It's kind of, it's like pushing a balloon full of jelly that's covered in fur. They just, they won't go. So then you go, and they, and they look at you like, no, I'm, no, what are you doing? And you're like, oh, for God's sake. All right. So, yeah. I think deep down, I'm probably a pet person. I guess, somewhere. There's underneath there, there's a pet person. <laughs> Gamergate 2, do we discuss it? Oh, but there's a Gamergate? Is there another one? Can we not have one? Can we not? Is it, po is it political? Is it political? Can we not? Let's not, yeah. It's going to be stupid. I'd rather have a mod apocalypse. Can we have a mod apocalypse? Mod apocalypse is a fun, weirdest thing, weirdest thing today. Total coincidence. Recording Phantom Liberty playthrough. Not even going to spoiler it too much, but I saw something in game that I swear for a second I thought was one of. I honestly, it's kind of related to mod apocalypse. Apocalypse. I honestly, genuinely, for a second, thought um, I saw one of my images in game. I'm like, what the? <laughs> Not exactly, but I'm like, you are kidding me? <laughs> uh, but there you go. <laughs> I think we should discuss Beargate more. Oh, God, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Still getting comments of you're playing it wrong, although, you know, they're, they're, they're getting, they're getting smaller. i tell you one thing that, that's, that's really sort of still raging 
whether or not I explore that. And, and it seems to be a touchy subject for some people. Like, if I say, no, I am actually exploring, they take that as an insult. Like, yeah, personally. Um, somebody was saying to me, because I, because someone was saying, well, you know, I consider exploring to be basically avoiding the main quest. I thought I'd been doing that. I mean, the main quest to me, we, we, correct me if I'm wrong, the main quest, we started on a, on a big, you know, Mind Flayer ship, we escape, and we got to find a cure for it, and the first thing, the first main quest was go to the Githyanki crash to find a cure. Now, we found several other little ways of curing it along the way, but at no point have I actually... Go oh, right, yes, let's go there and get rid of this parasite. Let's go to the crash and get this parasite gone. Let's go here and get... I mean, granted, I spoke to the priestess, the goblin priestess, but that was more just because she was kind of there. I kind of asked her about it, but I that's not why I was there. I was there to free the druid. I was there to free the druid because what I was trying to do was help the tieflings. But apparently all this is main quest, so I don't even know what main quest is anymore. Um, so, like, I'm not even totally sure how to avoid the main quest when I can't even figure out what the main quest is. I just... I've been going along with things that were not save yourself. Save yourself from the parasite seems to be the main quest, in my opinion. And there seem to be a billion ways of doing it, and I'm chasing none of them at the moment. None. The fact that I've accidentally bumped into some of them is just, just the way it happens. So, you should listen to everything Lazel tells you. Yeah, the main quest branches so much. Yeah, but doesn't that make it hard to kind of avoid it? So, but anyway, yeah. So. The main quest becomes more obvious in Act 2. I mean, really, I feel like... Because usually what everyone tells me is, you're so distracted, you're so all over the place, can't you focus, right? That's what everyone tells me. And that, to be honest, is probably a closer to the truth. Snake Doctor, I'm going to be incredibly nosy. Sorry, Gopher. Will you mod Fallout London for your first playthrough? Yes. I've... I would like to start working on my mods and make sure my mods are compatible with Fallout London, to be honest. I want to make sure... Immersive HUD works. I want to make sure Immersive HUD works. So. Um, but yeah. Well, you know, yeah. Uh, Sally Forza, they don't know you very well, do they? Yeah, here's the weird thing. I actually get this a lot. Pretty much every game I play, there are people who will pretty much say to me, you're, you're, you're not exploring, you're not... Um, you're, you're rushing the main quest. I got what that in Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, I got it in... I can't remember which ones. I, I've, I've got it in most of the games I've ever played. You, you're rushing the main quest. Um, but usually after 10, 20 episodes, people realize, no, I'm not. That's just me bimbling around, right? And then everyone realizes, oh, yeah, no, he's like all over the bloody place. Um... And, I mean, I, I've only, this is, what, my 16th, 15th stream? Still feel like I'm bimbling all over the place. Do you think it's advisable to play Sky Oblivion and Skywind without having played the originals? I don't see why not. It, it's going to depend on you. If, if you think you can play the originals and enjoy them, because they are dated now, but you can mod them, then play the originals. They're a ton of, they're really good. But... I mean, Skywind, I've no idea when that's coming, actually. When is that coming? Sky Oblivion's 2025? Did I miss something? No, there we go. 2025? So that's not that long. But I don't know how faithful they are to the originals, but Sky Wind, what I saw, seemed pretty faithful to the original in some ways. There was a huge amount of dialogue options. Um, Sky Oblivion seemed pretty similar as well. You saw Divinity Original Sin Part 2 offered in my feed from three years ago. Yeah, I mean, we've been playing Divinity Original Sin 2 for three years. Granted, we don't play it very often, unfortunately. Didn't rush the main quest in Fallout 4, ironically. 
Well, I, I don't ever rush the main quest, to be honest. What I tend to do is I tend to follow the narrative the game gives me um, and the incentives it gives me. Um, and by that, what I mean is I will follow what is logical for the character to do within reason. So, for example, in Red Dead Redemption 2, the game kind of encourages you to stick with the with the main quest for a little while. It's 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 unrav it's unfolding certain things. It's basically a tutorial phase, the first two chapters. Um but it also does start it opens up. You could go wherever you want, but honestly the incentives to go places don't seem to be there until a tiny bit later on. I started to find by chapter three, the game started sending me further afield, and that gave me more chances to wander and randomly discover things. And so that's just what I did. I, I followed the game's incentive. It wasn't me deliberately following the main quest. It was just me following the incentives. And I ended up 90... I mean, I ended up completing more or less all the quests in that game and discovering most of the important things. Just that like that. And I think the same is going to be true in this game as well. But people do sort of panic a little bit. One of the things that come up is people, well, you took ages to discover this one companion, Will. Yeah. That's happened in other games as well, hasn't it? I mean... <laughs> the Outer Worlds is the classic example. Oh my God, the comments about me missing Max. So... Yeah. I think people just worry that I'm going to miss an awful lot more than I actually do in the end because I don't seem to have a system. And I actually don't have a system other than follow the incentives. But sometimes the incentive can literally be, ooh, what's that over there? You know, I can see something and think, okay, is there something there? You'll see me occasionally walk down a path and look to see if there's anything interesting. And then maybe I'll go back to whatever I was doing. If what I was doing had a sense of, let's do this now, kind of thing. Less babble, more playing. Okay, that's a man who wants us to babble more. Congratulations. <laughs> you can toggle the helmets. You remember that wolf claw. <laughs> I'm still getting that in Cyberpunk. Does he not realise there's a wardrobe function? Um, I still don't know what the point of the wardrobe system is in Cyberpunk now. I mean, it, it really seems to serve no purpose whatsoever. Um, the Outer Worlds were so funny. I honestly wanted you to never get Max just to annoy the commenters. <laughs> yeah, but I liked Max. Max was cool. I loved his quest. Um... But I think, as a general rule, I think as a general rule, people underestimate games. I think people are underestimating Baldur's Gate 3 the same way they underestimated Red Dead Redemption 2. Because people say things like, this game will not hold your hand. Mm, not sure what that means, but, the, but, you know, they say, you have to take the initiative and you have to explore deliberately. It won't, it won't do it for you. But it turns out that's wrong, usually. The game will hold my hand, so to speak, by wiggling something interesting at me off in a distance. Red Dead Redemption 2 did. You know, the, these games that people think, you know, are not going to peak my... I'm not going to wander off the beaten track because the game doesn't specifically tell me are often wrong. The game will often give you some incentives. Although sometimes, you know what the incentive is? Oh, look, there's a bit of the map I've not been to. <gasps> What's there? <laughs> As I'm passing. Sometimes that's the incentive. That is it. There's a space in the map that I haven't been to, and all of a sudden I go, I have not been there. And that can be it. That's just, you know, it's just how it happens. So... Unless it's bugged, though, and doesn't give you the quests that are supposed to lead you. Right, there's, that's also true. If, if a game bugs out and doesn't lead you where it's supposed to, that's fine. But I bet you any money I'll end up going there anyway at some point. 
So they repeat this game doesn't hold your hand without really knowing what they mean. Yeah. People use that term all the time, actually. They use it for Dark Souls and stuff like that. <laughs> Usually, I think, think it's a bit of an excuse. With like Dark Souls, you hear, oh, yes, it's got lots of lore, but they don't hold your hand with it. You have to go and search for it yourself. Which, to me, is just a way of saying, yeah, they just don't add any incentive in-game for you to learn the law. <laughs> That's what holding your hand means. It's a gimmicky catchphrase. Same is true of oversimplified. I see that one learn, uh, used a lot, oversimplified. A lot, lot, of, lot of catchphrases. You spent literal hours in Red Dead Redemption 2 ignoring the main quest and mission to break Micah out of jail. Oh, oh, I'll tell you what, on my second playthrough, here's the thing, one, once I know a game, on my second playthrough, I might well have a system. In my second playthrough of uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, I had pretty much completed every single challenge and hunted every single thing and done every single collection quest you could possibly do by the that that you could do to the point that you could do it by the end of chapter 2 there were certain things you couldn't do there's the bandit quest you can't do until chapter 3 for example there's a couple of stages there because you have to sell horses and things like that and you can't finish some of them until well basically the epilogue but i was essentially like i spent as much time as humanly possible in the camp in act in chapter 2 because to me I just loved that place. Oh, I miss that game so much. I have been babbling for 30 odd minutes now. I just, no, I just need to stop. I really, really thought I could do it this time. Get in. Get playing. I really did. Oh, I should have known. I'm terrible at this. People know they like a game, but don't always think about why they like a game, so they repeat phrases they've heard. That is actually very true, Wolfclaw. That is a very astute comment, actually. Yeah. I hear that a lot on some games when people are critiquing games. When there's a game they don't like, they critique it, and they give it a criticism that could have been le levied right at the game they did love. And so it's usually something more. You have to go a bit deeper to find out what it was they didn't like. Um, and I often think with some of these games, what people don't like, they don't even totally get it themselves. It's just not making a good impression on them. Because I've had that. I've had this where a game's not working for me. And I just... I couldn't quite put my finger on it. I've also had the reverse where I've looked at the game and thought, I'm loving this, but I can't for the life of me think of why. Because that happens sometimes. There's just something there. And so you tend to latch on to the other explanations you hear as to why you like something you think you shouldn't or dislike something you probably should. And you latch on to them. But it's actually something completely different. Yeah, and then sometimes you actually know exactly why you hate something and can verbalize it perfectly, but... <laughs> oh, there's a reason people do media analysis. Yeah, we're complicated creatures, actually. What we like and dislike can sometimes make no sense. Sometimes it can actually make no sense, and you can be completely inconsistent. You could, you could love Fallout 3 and then just hate Fallout New Vegas and not be able to put your finger on why. But there'll be a reason, there'll be something that's there that can explain it to you, but you might not be able to put your finger on it because you might be thinking, this is just so similar. But there are differences and, and they're just, they got to you or something. Anyway, let's start. That's a very eerie sound, isn't it? Okay, so we've 
basically cleared the way now from the goblin camp all the way back to the emerald grove. All this is cleared. And I do want to head in the temple and discover this underdark, but there's also a few other things out here that are kind of bugging me. And I'm worried that I'm going to head into the Underdark and then end up completely forgetting what the hell was going on up here. Specifically, i got to be honest with you, I want to know about the hag. This was down here, wasn't it? There was also... Oh! The dog! Do you think the dog's gone to the camp? Do you think the dog has gone to the camp? You know what? Maybe I should find... Probably a good time for a, a rest anyway, yeah? I... I think it's a good time for a... What the hell was that? What am I hearing? Don't forget about the gnolls. Yeah, that's the... The, the gnolls were... Where was the dog? It was here, wasn't it? There was a little area there. Oh, hag? Gnolls. See, this is one of the reasons I'm a bit reluctant to go into the Underdark, because I will... I will forget. You know what, though? Before we do anything, let's go to camp. Okay. Alright, do we have a dog? I'm not seeing a... I'm seeing a gale who looks like he needs to chat. I'm not seeing a dog, though. Hello? Is there an owl bear as well? Didn't we have an owl bear? Where's the owl bear? Can't see a dog or an owl bear. Hmm. All right. Let's go. Oh God, Gail looks. I have a lot on my mind. Gail looks. They're in some discomfort. My condition is worsening again. Oh, God. I need to consume some powerful magic or it may become volatile. Got it, got it. I got persuasion, just can't help it bear with me. No, 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 no. I've got a bunch of stuff, I just don't know what. Right. No, that. Aren't I using that? Win it. Aren't I using these? Uh, these are what I'm using, aren't they? No, wait, no, no, no. Boots of aid and comfort. Equipped. Ah, it tells me if they're equipped. Right, okay, so... Poisoner's robe. Wait. Isn't Gale using that? Isn't that what Gale's wearing? Why do I have that? Shadowheart, Astarian, Will. The Whispering Promise. Boots of aid, boots of aid and comfort. Spider step boots, immune to being enwebbed. Your movement speed is not affected by web surfaces. Braces of defense. You get. Oh, no, that looks good. Gloves of archery, equipped by Reginald. I feel like. Oh, that's probably a pile of crap, isn't it? He's not wearing that, but he's not wearing this as well. I mean, I mean, we, we've got dancing lights. This is a minor thing. I think I've got a bunch of stuff in the chest, actually. Uh, wait a minute. Chimera. That's not a person. That's not an, that's not an item of any sentimental value, is it? That's just... That's just stuff. Why have I got a poisonous robe? All right. Chimera's locket. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I've got... Okay. Was that... Is that good? Was that enough? Did he want more? It's not having more. Thank you. Okay. Kamira gave it you for saving her daughter from the druid snake. Oh, damn it! Damn it! It is a strange experience. Oh, I had to keep that! Each time anew, I can't. 
Lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. Somehow okay. the second artifact hasn't had the effect of the first. It's somewhat relieved the discomfort, but I fear my hunger hasn't quite... Uh... Okay. Gail, what's happening? Are you all right? Is there anything going to do that? Please tell me we didn't waste a... Pick <laughs> okay, uh, uh, are you all right? You do plenty for me, more than you realize. But this cannot be remedied. <clears throat> the magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time, like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire. It merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle. The fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. Okay, you, you do that, you do that, you do that. I'm gonna... Thank you for the artifact. A great deal of trouble it was, too. A great deal of trouble, indeed. Okay, 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 let me just check something right now. Um... Yeah, I do not have... Alright, I'm just gonna go check the... Where's the bloody chest? Where is the chest? Where is the chest? It's up near Shadow Heart. All right, let's... Something good here, I hope. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to send stuff for Gale to eat to Gale. So that we have more options. Let's have a look. Yeah, like, he's got the poisoner's robe on. He's also got the braces of defense on. It's hard. It's going to be hard if it doesn't show that. Did it give me a list of items that Shadowheart had? Because maybe if I put it in her... Hmm. Alright, let's have a look. What? Oh, wait. Pretty sure I had a bunch. Well, maybe I don't actually have as many magic items as I thought. Could have sworn I had a bunch of them. Oh! Right, now, can Gale use any of these boots of striding? It doesn't say he can absorb this. It doesn't say he can absorb any of these. Boots of striding. What boots does he have on? Well, he's got spider step boots. Okay. So he can take them even if it says he can't? Because that one looks utterly, completely bloody useless, if you ask me. Alright. And hide armor plus two. Alright, so I'm going to keep these for him. It just, it says he can't. It says... But I'm, I'm going to give them to him so that at least we have them as options. And the boots of striding are the next item. All right, we'll, we'll keep these three, and I'll just try and remember. He's got braces of defense, poisoner's robe, and spider step boots on right now. Okay. It's a bit alarming, isn't it? All right. Should we sleep, then? I mean, we don't need actually to. need to, because he's got all of his spells back. Looking ahead. But I kind of want to get the uh, dog back. Where is the owl bear? Didn't didn't we get an owl bear? I could have sworn we got an owl bear. Why is there gold on the floor? Oh, don't mind if I do. Why is there gold on? Oh, was I performing and people throw threw gold at me? I got an owl bear egg. I did. I put that in the chest, but. I could have sworn we saved an owlbear and he was going to appear at camp. All right. Long resting con uh, con Yeah, I know it continues the story. Do we really want to continue the story? Or did we want to go and do a little bit of exploring where the uh, hag was? Oh, until I rest, will I even be able to speak to the hag? Hmm. You know what? No. I'm going to check around 
where the dog was. And I'm going to see if it's okay. Because here's what I don't want to do. I want to leave the poor doggy there and then he not make it. So I'm going to go up here. This way, right, let's have a look. What was the best way to get... There's a bridge there, but that's not how I got there. I got this way, didn't I? So it would go east. Best be on my way. See, I can do this now. Completely clear. Village. All the, uh, although the lovers are still there. Okay. I looted those, didn't I? Dead adventurer, dead goblin. Open up. Pretty sure I did. And just left a metal fork, because who the hell needs a metal fork? Somebody who doesn't have a fork would be the correct answer. Alright. Yeah, I, I know the sleep gets extra companion stuff, but you know. We want to... Oh! There's Scratch! He's still here! Alright. Something's on my mind. Go on. If he doesn't wait, oh, I'll find you. Okay. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, I am going to just head across here. Where would the gnolls have come from? Did he say where the gnolls came from? It was north, was it? Can't get there. Oh. Tell you what. Rather than jumping across, why don't I do this the civilized way? There is a bridge, isn't there? There's an actual bridge. He said northeast. He did say north. Oh god, I can't do that. I cannot I cannot travel that far and click on it. Alright. Well, we'll go across. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. What was the trick to getting across? I could use the Githyanki jump. But that only gets two of us across. Right. That only gets two of us across. How do I get all of us across? No. You can just jump on the rocks. Right. Can we, though? Oh, oh, oh! I can jump to there. Oh, I can... Path is into... There! Ah! Ha! Oh, nice one! Nice one! Nice one! Look at this! Look at us! Lazel! Showing off a little! Not saying I'm... Complaining. You look pretty damn good when you do it. All right! Oh, I see blood. I see blood. All right. Yeah, maybe I should just jump with Lazel <laughs> from now on. Jump with Lazel and let everyone else figure a way over. Toll collector's key. Have I met a toll collector? Key. Okay. Wonder when it opens. Yeah. Me too. Right, we're looking for knolls. Okay, this is... Oh. Karlak. Um. So... Defender of the people. What? What, the actual? No, these, these guys can't make it? What? What are you doing? What, what, what are you doing back there? What, 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 what the actual are you doing back there? So they can't... I heard something else. Keep in base. Okay. So you could get over there. Thank you very much. And then was it a stallion? What is wrong with you two? Come on. J -j just is it running water? <laughs> is that is that a problem? Can't remember my vampire law. All right. Okay. Excellent. So the plan to use Lazel and have everyone else follow could be flawed. Okay. 
So, just on the off chance. Bazel, you stay there. Where am I needed? You are going to be needed right Best there. And you huh? can be Quick step. here. I'm going to go across and now. chat to Karlak. Very well. That name sounds familiar. Wait. One horn. The stink of Avernus. That's why the name's familiar. Well, I'll be God's damned. Okay. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. Am I allowed to be strangely attracted to her? Because, um... Wow. Okay, you're the devil we're hunting. Karlak, right? Yeah, I knew that name sounded familiar. Tell me, monster, what's it like to know... Wait, no, no. You're the devil we've been hunting. Karlak, right? Bloody right. An honor to be chased by the Blade of Frontiers. But I... Ugh. Wait, 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 wait! It roars through you. Oh! Heat, fiery as the hell. Then you're lost in this. She's... The demonic armies as you tear through a landscape. One of us. Of fire and blood. The blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. What was that? Evidence. Proof that you're a devil. A gladiator in the archdevil Zariel's army. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can explain, but it's a whole situation. If you just hear me out... Another vision. Karlak's blade raised, slicing through devils. Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Her rage and desperation seep into you. She is a victim of the Blood War, not an agent of it. She's trying to trick us. Don't believe her lies. You saw the truth. I never wanted to serve Zariel. I was enlisted in her army against my will. Forced to fight, and fight I did. When I saw an opportunity to get away, I took it. Finally home. Or near it, anyway. You served her. That's enough to damn you. Oh, no, Will. Uh, stand up. Right, won't it? Be practical. She's infected, same as us, and powerful, too. We can use her as an ally. No, 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 no. Stand down, Will. You saw what I saw, too. Come on. Will catches his breath and his lips straighten. Sheer dread twists his face. You don't know what you're saying. You're asking me to trust a devil. Karlak's not a devil, and you know it. Uh, well, it, okay, what is she? <laughs> um, you saw her thoughts. She poses no danger to the Sword Coast. Uh, I mean, she's not a devil like the What's It guy that came and, well, basically deviled at us. This is a, she's a tiefling. God, just, you really are very stubborn. Karlak's not a devil, and you know it. Listen to sense now. I don't want this to end badly for either of us. Besides, I got a feeling she might actually... You know monsters, right? Better than anyone. Look into my eyes. Can't you see I'm not what you think? Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Good man! Oh, thank the gods. Thought I was gonna have to take your head. Yeah. <laughs> You would have died in the attempt. Oh, I love but her. there have been enough threats today. Oh, no, I'm... Truce, then, mm. eh? Mm-hmm. I... Mm-hmm. Truce. I'm Karlak, but you already knew that. And you are... Gonna get myself into trouble. Uh, I am your ticket to curing the tadpole. No! Names! Reginald, pleased to meet you. Well met, soldier. Nice to meet a friendly around here. It's been tough going so far. I may not be a devil, but I can put the Blade's reputation to work. How would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? Ooh, I'm in. Little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good. Really good. It turns out I've got a knack for killing demons. That made me a valuable asset. Zariel 
the archdevil herself, made me as her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there, but devils don't like to lose their assets. <laughs> Zariel liked it so little. She sent a bunch of goons, so-called paladins of tear, to take me back. Problem is, I'm not going. Let's send them back to where they came from then. So you want me to kill the people hunting you? Why should I do your dirty work? Because she's one of us now. So you want me to kill the people hunting you? Let's send them back to where they came from then. Wait a minute. Paladins of Tyre. What? What? That? There's that's that's ringing a bell. That's ringing a bell. Anyone? Does that ring a bell? Does that ring a bell? Guys, stop staring at her. I can see where your eyes are staring. Will. The stallion. I know what you're looking at. Start thinking. Uh, okay, I should really have read the books about the gods. Isn't that a god? Fine. No, you want... Let's send them back to where they came from. Fuck yes. Yes. They cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Oh. I doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. Then we can work on evicting this parasite and take Faerun by their short hairs. Sound good? <laughs> Sounds like a great plan. Uh, hang on, I said I'd help you, not team up. You <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, but <laughs> great plan. Good plan. Awesome plan. I'd hug you if it wouldn't scorch your skin off. You know I'm up for it, but your party's a little full. Wait. Ooh. 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 I don't know what you're good at. I don't know what you're good at. Uh, I'm thinking maybe we go back to camp now. I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's time for camp. In me. Okay. Is it like the team, the, right, me to camp. I'll catch up with you when it's time to camp for now. But don't get to any of the fun stuff without... No, no, we're going to go. We're all going to camp. Right now. Because I want to... I want to go through your backpack. And... Oh, look at this. Nice. Nice. Ooh. I need to know what you're good at. You... Ah, Will. You're going to have something to say. You've been witness to a pantomime, I'm sorry to say. And I've played my part all too poorly. Okay. Uh, what did you, you lay it out? But someone set you on Karlak's tail. I'd like to know who this source of yours is. If you weren't so useful, I'd drive it. At, what the f? Someone set you on Karlak's tail, and I'd like to know who the source of yours is. Because, let's face it, they lied to us. Well, you. I can say only this Karlak's not the only one who's had a villain's knife held to their throats. Chick. What manner of hero is so shrouded in secrets? I have never called myself hero. But I am bound to an oath. One night soon when we make camp, the veil will be lifted, and I'll pay my penance. Oh, penance, should I be worried? You're not in any danger, I promise. I can't say the same about me. Okay, right, everyone, huddle up. We're going back to camp. Oh, wait a minute, out of curiosity, do you have Karlax any- got the brawn of a warrior and the wiles of a survivor. Ooh. Best of all, she speaks her mind plainly and fully. Show her due respect. I'm sorry, what? You approve? Ah, oh, but that's it. I'm just going to fall over and die now because that's it. My bucket list has been done. Lazel approved of something, everyone. We're done. Life cannot get better from this moment forth. Sorry. Probably should talk to the others as well. <sighs> I thought we were going to see some real sparks fly between Will and Karlak. Okay. It's almost a pity things ended so amicably. 
Seeing those two duke it out would be fun. Yeah, we'd have been in the fight too, you know. So thanks for that. And, um... That was it! Right, we're going to camp, guys. We are going to actually camp for the night, I think. Right, and... She's very energetic, isn't she? And also, she's on fire. She can't hug us because she'll scorch us. That's not normal for a tiefling, is it? I mean, I'm not particularly up on tiefling anatomy. And I'm not going to continue that train of thought. Karlak and Will seem to have put their differences aside. I thought it was going to come to blows for a moment. Hmm? Uh, okay. That's, that, that's all I wanted to know. I just wanted to chat and find out what you thought. Um, where's Gale? Over. Oh, there he is. Looking slightly invisible. Right. So. Can I... Can I sort her out? Devil and devil hunter standing shoulder to shoulder against a common enemy. Rather poetic, I think. Maybe. I think I have a magic artifact. No, let's... let's let... Oh, is it a good idea to give him the magic artifacts in advance or wait for him to ask? This, I don't feel like we've got enough to just be willy-nilly consuming them. Right, do, does she have to be in if not over the three. party for us to toggle group mode, toggle group hide? Um, can I sort her out any other way? I mean, like, if I talk to her. Hmm? Is there a dialogue history? Character select? No. Okay. Um, how did you... Okay, you know what? Whilst we're here, how did you end up fighting in the blood war? Trust me, I'll tell you all about it after we take care of the goons on my tail. All right. Uh, in our expert opinion, what's the... In your expert opinion, what's the best way to kill a devil? Okay, could that be taken the wrong way? I feel like that could be taken the wrong way. But she did say she was good at it. Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. Okay. Demons, on the other hand, every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Living in the moment. This isn't where I thought I'd end up. How about you? Yeah. <laughs> Funny you should ask. I was just thinking about what would have become of us without that nautiloid. I mean, I know where I'd be. Trapped in Avernus still, with the Blade of Frontiers on my tail. But what about you? I'd be back in a home, not in a care... I'd be in the middle of another adventure, blessedly free of a tadpole. Very, very probably. Yeah. I'm seeking adventure. I'm, I'm trying to come up with tales and songs. And be as un Yankee as I can possibly be. I can picture you getting mixed up in some outrageous shit. Giants, beholders, <laughs> Thayans, the works. Okay, I'm up Maybe for that. Maybe once we've wrapped up the current shenanigans, we'll rest a bit and find some new heap of troubles to throw ourselves at. Oh, God, Shadowheart's going to kill me because I'm just... Oh, <laughs> uh, uh. The Yankee monogamous. Nope, nope, don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. There's too many problems without creating more. Um. Okay. So, I can see what she's got. She's got barbarian. Wait, 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 wait. Let's try some of this stuff. We got a bunch of stuff here. Can we. Is there no way to actually... Uh, she got to be in the party. She's got to be in the party. She's a warrior, right? 
I feel like she's going to replace Lazel. But then... Okay. I can level her from here, can I? Wait, wait. Am I missing it? It's probably somewhere staring character select. Sheet, character sheet. Character sheet. Efficiency. There's a big button, isn't there? There's a big button glowing saying level up. I'm being told I can do it. I just can't figure it out. Sorry, I'm, I'm obviously being completely dense. I'm going to take a wild stab in the dark and say I think she's probably a warrior. So, action, not reaction. I want to see what you've got. You do have a great sword, and you've got vision of the absolute. That's another spear. But I, I tell you what, she just seems really good with. Where's the double-handed hammer? Okay, I'm gonna send that to Carlac for now. I'm leaving the spear with her because Lazel and that spear. It's just working, I think. It's working. What about... Now, Will is also a, a sort of fighter. But he's also a bit of a mage. So I feel like I want to keep him. So I, I feel like it's got to be Lazel. I feel like it's got to be Lazel. Because if I replace... Well, the only other one would be Will... Because I need a stallion, unfortunately. Um, I'd have no caster. Mind you, argument is, do I need one with her spear? Her spear is bloody awesome. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if only we could find someone who can pick locks. All right, let's connect. Can I do that from here? Can I just... Soldier. Come on, where... Oh. About those paladins you want us to come from? Yeah, let's go straight there. We will. We're gonna have a nice sleep though. Fox are getting up to. It's nothing good. Or do we even need to? Just to say, by the way, they're not really paladins. Lackeys of the Archdevil playing dress up as paladins of Tear. Okay. No honor among devils. Because aren't paladins of Tear? Wait, it's not good. Anyway, we're heading out. You know I'm up for it, but your party's a little full. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lazelle is offering to stay behind. Let's hop. Yes. And don't burn yourself. Let's have a look at you. Barbarian. Ooh. <sighs> yeah, she is pretty awesome looking. Uh, <laughs> accept. Wait Would there be something to not accept? Do I need to change anything? Health increase. Oh, so level two is a barbarian. Her health increased to 23. She got danger sense. You sense when things aren't as they should be. You have advantage on dexterity saving thrones against traps, spells, and surfaces. To gain this benefit, you can't be blinded or incapacitated. Actions. Reckless attack. Until your next turn, you have advantage on attack rolls. But enemies also have advantage on you. Can we do something different? Because that seems... I guess berserk. All right, fine. Right, so, race. Zariel Tiefling. Okay, so she's got Legacy of Averna, Searing Smite. It's an evocation spell, weapon damage, 2 die 6, fire damage. Deal an extra 2 die 6 and set your target on fire. It takes 1 to 6 fire damage every turn. Uh. Wait. She casts that... Okay, it's once per long rest. It's a concentration. She casts that on her weapon and it does extra fire damage for ten turns. Ooh, okay. Subclass. Hello there. Wildheart. Your attunement with nature and its beasts inspires your rage, empowering you with supernatural might. Bestial heart. What is... Can I... What is that? Bestial heart. Oh! Choose your bestial heart. You can change your heart whenever you level up. Oh, 
Bear heart. When raging, you can use unrelenting ferocity and have resistance to all damage except psychic. Okay, so when she rages, she basically resists all damage except psychic? That sounds good. Eagle heart. While raging, she can use divine strike. Foes also have disadvantage on opportunity attacks against you. Okay, that does not seem as... Elk Heart. While raging, you can use Primal Stampede and your movement speed increases by 4.5. Tiger Heart. While raging, you can use Tiger Tiger's Bloodlust and your jump distance increases by 4. It's not that. Wolf Heart. While raging, you can use Inciting Howl and your allies have advantage on melee. No, I'm sorry. That just seems to. How long does rage last? Let's let's just. Gained a passive bestial heart. Okay. Spells. Speak with animals. Eee. You don't need that. I've got that. Shame you can't replace that. All right. Berserker. Violence is both a means and an end. You follow the, the follow a path of untrammeled fury, slick with blood and the thrill of in chaos of battle. Heedless of your own well-being. Actions. Frenzy. Your rage turns into a frenzy. Hmm, okay. You gain frenzied strike and, and enraged throw. Okay. I want to hold that. Frenzied, frenzied strike. As a bonus action, make a melee attack with your equipped weapon. This will cause a stack of frenzied strain on the barbarian. Okay. So, whilst in rage, she gets a free attack as a bonus action. Is in rage once per long sleep or something? Probably is, isn't it? Enraged throw. Pick up an item or creature and throw it at a target. <clears throat> Dealing additional damage and knocking it prone. Your strength affects how much weight you can throw. Heavier items deal more damage. The damage of a thrown weapon is the same as a weapon's melee damage. You can also do deal additional damage based on your strength. So, let me get this right. Whilst in a rage, she could do an extra bonus action, or, well, an extra strike, or pick someone up and throw them at someone else can also make an improvised weapon attack. Pick up an item or creature and use it to like... Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, gain resistance to physical damage and advantage on strength checks. How much resistance? Only take half the amount of damage from certain damage type. That's from physical damage. Rage ends early if you don't attack an enemy or take damage each turn. So she needs to be in the thick of it once she goes into rage. You can't cast or concentrate spells while raging. Okay, see, see, see. There is something about that that I just, I find. Now I'm feeling like she should have the bloody spear. I'm feeling like she should have the spear. Like, I don't know. Thro anyway, what else have we got? Frenzied strike and enraged throw. Oh, God. Okay. Wild magic. The wild influence of magic has transformed you, suffusing you with an arcane power that churns within you, waiting to be released. Wild magic. Enter a rage that releases all the magic roiling inside of you, causing a random magical effect. Gain resistance to physical damage and advantage on strength checks. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. Actions. Magic awareness. Anyone within range adds their proficiency bonus to saving throws against spells. Okay. That's a bonus action. What, anyone within range adds their proficiency bonus to saving throws against spells. Is this something she could just do every single... Like, she gets a bonus action, she can just cast it 
to anyone within three meters? Yeah. I mean, three meters, that's pretty close, isn't it? You could do it to herself, I guess. That adds saving throws, but... Okay, i got to admit... Berserker seems to be the... It just... I mean, I love Lazelle with that spear, but I feel like throwing stuff is going to be Carlax thing. I mean, enraged throw. Pick up an item creature, throw at a target, dealing additional damage and knocking it prone. Wait a minute, though. Can she do that with the spear? Can she do that with the spear? All right, you know what? I, I, I'm going to take Berserker anyway. I'm going to take Berserker. I'm, I'm liking that. I just am. I'm just, I want to see. I want to see. I'm going to take it. And I'm giving her the spear because... Okay. I think. Okay. And, oh, level up again. Right, level up Barbarian. She, her health has increased, and we got a feat. Okay, so. Heavy Armor Master not got. Right, is this going to be, let's have a look at her strength. I want to do the ability improvement and get that to 18, and I'm guessing Constitution to 16. Oh, no, Dexterity. Constitution is is what's best for a barbarian? Constitution or dexterity? I mean, dexterity I feel could be good, but ah, uh, Icky Lama, Moo, thank you for the five euro super chat. Oh, okay. Let's have a look. What what else is that? Tavern brawler was suggested. When you make an unarmed attack, you use an improvised weapon or throw something, your strength modifier is added twice to the damage. Oh. So if you're going to do a lot of throwing, Tavern Brawler is a good thing, because you get the strength modifier twice, which I'm guessing is basically six to throw in stuff. But if I get the extra strength now, then that's four, but it's to everything. It... Strength modifier is that... Okay. So if I take this... When you make an unarmed attack, use an improvised weapon, throw something, your strength is modified twice. But I can still... Wait, wait, wait. So I can still have 18. Oh, and then if I take ability improvement, I could actually take dex and constitution to the next level. Oh, okay. So then which is the best way to do this? Tavern Brawler for the throw and the one point of strength, or... Ability improvement to get two of them now. What I would have to do, though, is make sure I didn't take Constitution or Strength. It would have to be something like Strength and Dexterity. And then when I took Tavern Brawler, I could take Constitution. Tavern Brawler first. I'm, I'm feeling like that might be the way to go, just because... I mean, I'm... You choose, don't listen to chat. I'm... I mean, that then makes plus eight on throws. And throws seem to be... Okay. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's go with Tavern Brawler. And then when I get the next feat, which I guess is a while, I can work on Constitution and Dexterity because I get an extra bonus. Yeah. Plus six to saving throws. Plus four. Okay. All right. I mean, I like throwing with Lazelle. I really do. Um. So. Still alive. 
Let's. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Lazelle, then. What other weapon do we have for her? Uh, I tell you what. Making me sweat. Um, she had. Oh, well, actually, what's she got? She's got a great axe. Okay. Send that to Lazelle. Also the sword. Which is better? 5 to 16, 6 to 60. Actually, she seems better with that. And there is, of course, the hammer. 6 to 15. I mean, honestly, that great axe doesn't seem... Don't forget the ring. Yeah, she's got the ring of flinging. Yeah, to be honest with you, I think we'll make you a thrower and you um, uh, beat the crap out of everyone. So, but that's slightly less damage there. Is it just, honestly, I feel, I feel like half the time it's just easier to keep that pike equipped rather than constantly swapping between like you know this and oh, besides that looks kind of weak source I mean, she could keep the great axe but actually the great axe does slightly a oh, one more damage hammer is magic would go for that oh right yeah magic sometimes is needed for attacking certain creatures isn't it Hmm. All right. Yeah, so what boots has she got? Boots of striding. When you cast a spell that requires concentration, you... Oh! Isn't Berserk... Isn't Berserk a concentration spell? Axe has a good cleave skill. Well, I mean, I could, of course... Use the axe for the cleave skill. What skill does it... That is it that? Reckless... No. Enrage throw. Prepare. Lacerate. Cleave. Oh, this, ki this hits a lot of people at once. Yeah, I can leave her equipping this and then we switch into the spear is actually... She can't concentrate while raging. Isn't raging a concentrate? I thought raging was concentration itself. No. Okay. What was it that... What was it that she did that was con... It's this one. Legacy of Avernus that is concentration. Right. So when she rages, this will wear off. So this, she can't use this. This is once per long rest. Thaumaturgy. Gain advantage on intimidation and performance checks. Okay. So where is the rage? Where is the rage? That's... I want to find it. It's going to be it's going to be a barbarian thing. There it is. Right. Available only in combat. You can't cast rage ends. Oh wait. Does that have a limited number of attacks or not? is okay. She can use that as often as she likes. She has, oh, she has rage charges. Right, okay, well, there you go then. So I'll leave those boots on her though because then when she's not raging, she, she can use that once per day fire attack on the weapon and then do tons of damage that way. All right, and she'll also get, um... While you're concentrating, you can't get knocked down. And she'll get momentum. All right, let's see what this armor is. Now, dexterity... She's only got plus one at the moment, so we've got an option of the Oaks Ember Embrace. Undead creatures that hit the character receive damage. No, but beasts hit her for more damage. That sucks. That's going to gale because it sucks. Karlax boots. We'll send that... To the camp. Um, it's this one. Hide armor. Oh, what? No. No. Just. No. I mean, it is better. 
but <laughs> okay I am a terrible 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 human being I am a terrible human being for even thinking she has unarmored defense does she all right AC oh. She, she has an ability that gives plus one AC per two points of con above ten. All right. Which one is it, then? Unarmored. Right. The body is as resilient as any armor. While not wearing armor, you add your constitution modifier. Okay. But I can't have her running around like that. Because, I mean, I can't. Take the boots off and you'll get more ace. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's clothing. It's clothing, not armor. So she's actually better off without armor on. Uh, oh. So those boots actually make her... Worse off. Okay. That kind of sucks a tiny bit, but all right. And she might as well have her boots back then. So we need to find some cloth boots. Gale. Braces of defense. I think her need is greater than yours. I really do. Uh, actually, don't put that bad on him. <laughs> and it's better than nothing, is it? No. They don't do anything anyway, do they? They don't do anything. No. All right. So, putting armor on her has no benefit. All right. Good to know. Then I'm going to send that to Gail as well. And the boots of striding. That is a real shame, though. Is there anyone who does benefit from those boots? She's got Githyanki boots. Could she? Does she have any concentration things? I don't think I don't think Lazel has anything that's concentration based. Spider step. I think he does, but the last thing he needs is momentum. Okay. Mm, yeah, honestly, I think those boots are a bit. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm just going to leave everyone like this. She seems to be better in the outfit she's got, at least for now. And we need to boost her constitution. Does she also get... She does get a dexterity bonus. If we get that feat that gives one more dexterity and one more constitution, she gets two more points of armor. That's probably bloody well worth it. All right, we need to go and murder some people just so I can see. Now, the big going. question, do we really need to sleep me. now? She's full. He's of the people. full. Astarian I mind. doesn't mind, doesn't care. It's only it's me, interesting. and I'm just there to heal. Yes, sleep. No one stopped me yet. Don't we just met her, and the first thing we're going to do is sleep at her. Yes, we will help you defeat those paladins after we've had a nap. I'm going to sleep. I'm not going to have fun. I'm going to be miserable. You have enough camp supplies to restore all of it, like I said. Oh! Hell's fire. She's coming. Who's she? Oh, God. Okay. Well, you've been naughty. And you know what happens when you're naughty. God damn it. Anyone but her. Right. Just in 
God's damn devil, get out of my camp. Well, well, aren't you the luscious thing? <laughs> oh, in another life, perhaps. Um, just who in the nine hells are you? Well, you absolute stinker. You kept me a secret. Hmm. Time to let the Hellcat out of the bag. Call me Mizora. I'm Will's patron, the fount of his power. My pet's been unruly, mm. and his leash needs a yank. Okay, can we kill her? We had a deal, Will. But Karlak's still breathing. I've taken more pleasant shits than you, Mizora. And at least those can be buried after. That's no kind of talk for a lady. By the way, Karlak, Zariel sends her regards. You told me! Devils only! She's a tiefling, not a monster! How precious. The little pupster's found his bark. Clause G, Section 9. Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Karlak meets the criteria, pet. Trust me on this. Okay, if we kill Karlak now, will that get rid of- What? You better not lay a damned finger on Karlak. Blast it all, Will. Why don't you tell me about her? Okay. I've heard enough you're not leaving this place. I- I feel like we need to get to the bottom of this before we start randomly murdering. Partly because we're all undressed. Um. Okay. Blast it, Will. Why don't you tell me about that? Because we've only just really met and he's kind of getting to it. Look, get to the point, devil. What is it you want? The point? Oh, yes. Thanks for the reminder. You're welcome. Oil burns in the fires of Avernus. The lightning storms of Dis strike his flesh. His soul passes through each layer of the hells, gaining their essence. Okay. And their torment. Now we kill her. Okay, K kill. We kill. Everyone kill him. Kill, kill her. Wait, what? Ah. Okay. That's better. What the hells have you done? A promise broken, a price paid. You know the terms. Get used to the new form, pet. There's no going back. Some magic even I can't undo. Now, let's see how the frontiers fare without their precious blade. Karlak, keep an eye on him, would you? I'll be keeping mine. Okay! On you. I'm sorry! Oh, and Will, don't forget, our pact still stands. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. Okay, so this is not your real form. Is that his real form and we're now seeing it? Or did she t turn him? In. Okay, you know what? Let's go chat. Uh... Woodifer! Gods damn her straight back to the hells. Just look at me. I did what was right, and Mazora made me pay for it. I'd be hunting devils and demons, she said. Traitors and hypocrites, heartless evils of all sorts, but not... Not Zariel's victims. Not innocent tieflings. Warlock pets tend to be unforgiving from what you know of them. Will was lucky he didn't face a more severe punishment. Oh. He warned me about Raphael, but we're packed it to Mazora. I don't... What is Mazora? The Blade of Frontiers has some explaining to do. What did you expect? She's the devil. She, she is a devil. Hardly the paragon of honesty. Yeah, what did you expect, really? All these years. You'd think it's a lesson I'd have well learned. It's Mizora who grants me the power to conjure armor and cast Eldritch Blasts. Before I was infected, I could even call hell beasts and summon festering clouds. But I promise you, 
Every thrust of my blade and every flame I sparked was for the good of the coast. Okay. You should get out of this. What are the terms of your pact? I can't utter the terms or circumstances of the pact. I can tell you most all else, but the pact, I'm forbidden, unless Mazora permits it. But I'll say this. The moment I pacted myself to Mazora, I have not regretted for a heartbeat. It was my proudest deed. What? It was worth the sacrifice. All I can give you on that is my solemn word. No, no, no. I've got way too many other things um, to say. That was just one thing. Who should get out of this pact? How does it feel to be a devil? Well, you're not. You're a tiefling, right? Isn't, he's not a devil. He's a tiefling. Right. How does it feel to be a devil? It's said that anyone who bathes in the river of blood emerges as one born anew. It's a lot like that, I imagine. I feel the weight of these horns on my head curling upwards like a mammoth's tusks. I feel these ridges snaking down my neck. Not to mention a few bumps and oh, no, he's not in a unmentionable places. But I haven't seen my reflection just yet. No, he's actually a devil, isn't he? What do you see? Quite a handsome devil. Freak of nature. I see the Blade of Frontiers. No more, no less. I still see the same person. Yes. No more, no less. <laughs> it's because you know the heart lurking under the horns. The people will see a curiosity. Maybe even a beast hungry for their souls. But I will slay their monsters. Keep them safe. And one day they will see the Blade of Frontiers again. I don't know, man. Kind of suits you. But you know what? You should probably try and get out of this pact. A possibility that's kept me awake countless nights. You'd lose your power, though, wouldn't you? Well, I don't have a clue where to start, other than play her games and play by the rules. That's the only language devils listen to. Why a bear at all? What could she do that's worse than she already has? Can't we just attack her the next time she pops up? Can we do that? We can have all for it, but it won't so much as chip one of her nailed claws. She'll escape to the hells, and if we succeeded, my life would be taken in exchange. My contract is very clear. I can bring Mazora no harm. She'll have to let me out of my pact willingly. Oh. The only way out is if I can out-bargain her. We're standing here with nothing but the clothes on our backs and the worms in our heads. Mm. I just fear what she'll do to us next. We'll see if it's worth it. We might need the pact after all. No, we can beat her if we put our worms together. <laughs> we can. I'm sure of it. How glad I am that you see me as more than my patron's pet. Ah, okay. That wasn't too bad. So not a tiefling, an actual devil. Ah. Let's go and be annoyed now, shall we? Looking at something. Okay, just looking. What are you doing? Yeah, how do you know I was here? You can hear me? The only benefit to a mirror when you have my... Oh, condition. <laughs> yeah, sorry, yeah. It doesn't quite make up for the lack of a reflection, mind you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Silly question. Do you, do you miss it, seeing your own face? Vanity is a weakness. No, you know, it's okay, to some degree, as long as it's not debilitating. Do you miss it, seeing your face? Preening in the looking glass. Petty vanity. <laughs> of course I miss it. Oh, I know. I've never even seen this face. Not since it grew fangs and my eyes turned red. Oh, we can fix that. What colour were they before? You have nothing to worry about. It's a very good face. No, it is! You're a good looking you're a good looking guy. I know we've not hit you off, but you've got a very good looking face. Is it? What do you see when you look at me? Gitanki, <laughs> an elven vampire spawn, approximately 5'11", medium build, yeah. Your mole definitely creases, the creases when you laugh. Strong, piercing eyes. I see... Well, I do. I see strong, piercing eyes. Oh. Go on. Okay, but don't get any funny ideas. Dangerous smile? Yeah, it's a I mean, it is. Look, seriously, you got the charm when you want to. Very good. 
Now just tell me I'm beautiful and we can call it a day. <laughs> Karlak is beautiful. You're fine, though. <laughs> Oh, a poor guy. Now, look, you're a good-looking guy. Yes, you are. Observant. Mirrors aren't much use, but being reflected in someone else's eyes? Well, I could do worse. I was going to say, we could probably find some sort of illusion to, to duplicate you and you could see yourself. You see... You can be not annoying sometimes. You should try that more often. Speaking of... What's up for discussion? Trying to be... The Blade of Frontiers in the guise of a devil. I'd remark on the irony, but I'd hate to waste the breath. <laughs> Still, it took guts to defy that petty patron of his. The Blade's sting is real. Okay, seriously, what is going on? Astarian is not annoying me. Lazel is not annoying me. Okay, this is this is just. Could somebody annoy me so I feel okay? Um, Volo, hi. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. Has your has your research turned up anything that might help with the parasite problem? With no, no, no. If it's the thing with the spike again, no. Get away from me, you hack. My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. No, bye bye. It's not too deep. No, just behind the orbital socket. I'm gonna attack you. I could attempt an extraction. No. I've a needle in my tunic. No. Before. No. That's not a needle. It's a goddamn spike. Get away from me. I'd rather have... Yes, I'd rather have a second opinion. Thank you. But you won't find a more learned opinion on this matter, I assure you. Uh, I just... All I wanted to do, actually, is, 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 is see if you've got anything to sell. Sell. Hmm? You only have a matter of days to live. Don't dally, my friend. Mm -hmm. Don't dally. <laughs> Come here. My good fellow. Could you shush? Quite the cozy setup you have here. Right. Trade! Do you have Oh you do? You've got you some so potions of Oh I forgot to get all the stuff from my I forgot to get all the stuff from the bag to sell him. I can't... It's a shame I can't check the chest from here, isn't it? It's it is a shame I can't. Alright, I'll do I'll do some better selling another time, but right now I just want to um get some more potions and I've got loads of money so there you go all right okay goodbye um Gail I can't help feeling will got off lightly the wrath of the hells is second only to the wrath of the heavens having a devil in our camp will certainly make things interesting Never a dull day, is there? <laughs> okay. No, no, absolutely. Glad you're having a go. He seems just to have fun all the time. Okay. And, um... Yeah, you're going to think this is hilarious, aren't you, really? I mean, all things considered. I'll be honest, soldier. I'm reeling. Will hardly knows me, but he chose my life over his. <sighs> been a long time since someone stuck their neck out for me like that. Oh, no, you're not. You're gonna... All right, he's a good man. Maybe the best of us. He probably is, you know. He probably is. You can say that again. When he was chasing me through Avernus, I thought he was just another sad merc. How wrong I was. All right, well, yeah. She seems awfully cheer. Her and Gale, they're a kind of pleasure to talk to. They're just so damned positive. Shadowheart. So, that's what people mean when they talk about butterflies in their stomach. Oh. Did you want something? Ah, uh, I was just wondering if you had anything to... Um, not right now, but... Uh, maybe tomorrow? Just, you know. 
Just checking in, really. Thought you might have something to say on the whole situation. Okay, right. Let's get some sleep. Right, we got everyone. Yes. Did I miss anyone? Did I miss anyone? I don't think so. All right. Let's sleep. And then we're going to go and... Paladins of Tyre, who are not really Paladins of Tyre, we're going to go kill them. Right, auto-select. Can you do a good job? What have you picked? What have you picked? You've done a good... Why is the Owlbear... The Owlbear egg... Oh, it's in the chest. I, I didn't put it in the camp supplies. I do not wish to use the Owlbear egg. Can I put it somewhere else? Should I keep that on me just so we don't accidentally do it? No, it'll probably still... Maybe I should give it to someone else. Maybe. Yeah, okay. Are we good? Are we good? Can't control. Incapacitated. Can't do that. Can I do that? No. Which What's going on? What is going on? What is going on? Click on your icon. I've clicked. So that's not good. Oh my god, that's Divinity Original Sin 2 music. So, uh, have I had a... Oh. Oh, okay, so we've... We've not got a save file. I'm gonna save the game right now, but there's no save file. I'm gonna make a full save, actually. Can do. All right. Let me just let me just do. Yeah, that's not going to be good, is it? It's fine. Reloading should fix it. All right. Well, I tell you what. Um, let's let's take this as a break. Am I running mods? No. Um. Okay. We will. We will. We will. Be, Good show, old man. Thank you for the $2 super chat. Have I missed anyone, by the way? $5 super chat from Rebel Scum. This is going to be fun. What What was that? I missed that one. Did that happen at a, a moment? <laughs> that probably happened at a moment, didn't it? Okay. I'm going to go and get... So the music from a different game is playing. How does that work? Well, it's the same company, Larian. And it's not the exact same music, I don't think. It's it sounds more. There's there's more orchestra, I think. But it's definitely the same music. Reload now. No, but won't it trigger the cutscene if I reload now? I don't want it to trigger the cutscene. If you're saying there's a cutscene. Or is it just the normal camp? Look, we'll do it when we get back. It's the same composer. Yeah, but it's 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 also it's kind of like when Skyrim used music from Morrowind or Oblivion and used the same kind of music, but it was a little bit different. I think the White River, for example, might be one of those ones where I got, oh my god, this is from one of the other games. You've done something since the cutscene. No, but like, I, I thought someone was suggesting there was another cutscene coming now. Do it to check that it worked. Reload again. It's a mojo. No, I'm, uh, guys, I'm, I will be back. I'll be back in five minutes. Just, just a break. Just gonna go get a drink. Relax.
Oh, I'm back. Let's have a look at the stats, what we got going right now. 321 concurrent viewers, only 163 likes. <gasps> Hit that like button. Do it. <laughs> Oh, error. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. Is anyone else having, uh, is, like, problems? Frame drops or something? Drop frame 0.0%. Uh, so why is it not receiving enough video to remain smooth streaming? Runs fine for you. I had a hiccup, but not much. Huh. Running smooth. Running smooth looks fine. I, yeah, I mean, because the frames don't seem to have a problem. Although, you know, we've had that before, but that was on Twitch, wasn't it? Although, according to the Elgato stream deck, we've got 819 frames dropped. Which probably means at some point there was a bit of a stutter. Oh, now it's back to excellent. But why is OBS reporting zero dropped frames, but Elgato is reporting 819? Hmm. Interesting. The Elgato, Elgato Stream Deck is actually quite useful. Hmm. Oh well. Drops itself down to 720 here, but it's now running fine at HD. Yeah, it's it's odd. Sometimes you get this. But there were some drop frames according to Elgato, so... No, it probably just there was a few seconds where I was having trouble pushing... I don't know, maybe there was a blip at my end of my ASP. Okay. So what, what, I, what have I got to do? Whoa, why is the mouse off? But there we go, that's better, thank you. We're going to reload the campsite. Okay. Oh! It's wrong. I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. Okay. You haven't been using the Parasite's power. You think you don't need it. But things haven't gone as you expected. You thought Nettie might be able to help you in the Druid's Grove. But all she did was reaffirm the danger. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. Huh. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. Okay, so what should I be doing? Tell me who you are, first of all. It's complicated. But I'm an adventurer. Just like you. Uh. Just like you, I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you... I seek to be free of it. But to do that, we'll need to think beyond local healers. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. <laughs> Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. The parasites were merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. Okay. 
I thought you said you could protect me. In fact, you were sort of suggesting that you're the one keeping us from turning. From transforming to a Mind Flayer? Yes. But that is not the only thing these parasites can do. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute. And believe it to be a god. Right. You witnessed it yourself with Priestess Gut. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be Mind Flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. Okay. How are you protecting me? I have powers of my own. Unique powers. But know that we are alike. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. Uh, I have to go. I have so many more questions. What is going on over there? Is there anything I can do to help? Tell me where I can find you. What is going on over there? The power I used to protect you. I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can. But sooner or later, I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. Okay. Follow the cultist's trail. They will lead you to their masters. Follow the cultist's trail. Use the trail. powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. See, I don't know whether I trust you. What? Uh, okay, hi. I want to have a word. Did you have a visitor? Another visit from the Golden Paladin. It said we'll get the answers we need about the tadpole if we infiltrate the cult. Okay. We need to be discreet to get in the heart of the cult. These powers might help. Oh, I'm not sure. If we can use the tadpoles for good before extracting them, it could be worth it. I don't know. Feels like a trap. Hmm, we need to be discreet to get into the heart of the cult. These powers might help. Feels like a trap, but I don't know whether it is. I don't know whether it's a trap. These powers might help. I'm very reluctant to be using these powers. I feel like he's too nice. I think it's a trap, but then I'm pretty much paranoid. I don't think we should indulge the dream visitor. I'm not sure whether we should. I. I'm. I'm kind of. I want. I want to be somewhere in between. Do we need to be discreet? Because this is like. I think we should still listen to the visitor and find out more. I'm not sure if we can use the tunnels for good for extracting them. It could be worth it. It could be, but I, I genuinely... I feel like this is the devil's bargain again. Then let's do just that. Look, we need to be discreet to get in the heart of the cult. I say we do it. See if... See if they're telling the truth. The powers... These powers might help. Oh, God, I guess. It's a fair point. I just don't want to take a short-term boom. I want to win this whole thing. To finish off the cult. To get this tadpole out. To stay sane the whole time. Yeah, me too. Mizora said you fit the criteria for will to hunt. What? Okay. Let's start with this one. You and Mizora seem to know each other. How? We were both part of Zariel's inner circle. Her by choice. Me by force. 
In the grand scheme of things, I'm inconsequential to Zariel. Sure, I've got the engine, but I wasn't even her strongest fighter. But she favored me like a child favors a captive pet. Mizora envied the attention, I suppose. I'm sure when Zariel gave her the order to hunt me down, Mizora was delighted. Okay. Do you think... Did I hear something? Um, do you think she'll keep coming after you? I can see why you were so keen to escape. I can. No kidding. The fighting, the chaos, the betrayal. It had the makings of a good stage show, but I did not want to be one of the players. Do you think she'll keep coming after you? I don't know. You think she'd have more important things to do? Devils and their pride. Okay. Then, oh, change the subject? All right, yeah, okay. Mizora said you fit the criteria for will to hunt. What did she mean? Help me kill those paladins of Tyr, and I'll tell you, a bit of good gossip for your good help. Oh, all right then, fair enough. Yep, yeah, no, well, that's where we're going next anyway, so... Definitely. Right, who else have we got? Let... Dog! We got a dog! Oh! Oh, I forgot. I haven't... Okay, pet him. I forgot the doll talk thing. Who's a good doggy? Yes! Okay. Um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna, I'm just, right, just give me a second, give me a second, right, first of all, what I gotta, I gotta speak with animals. Me? And I'll tell you what, before I forget it. Let's just make sure we get this on every, oh no, 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 no. All's well that ends Stallion. And then... Will! Good idea, I think. Who looks... odd now. Okay, right. I got my talk to doggy spell up. Come here. I should speak up. Hope you're keeping well, friend. I am. I'm sorry about what happened to your master. I, I really am. Master? Friend? I stayed with him until... Until I knew he was gone. That's very interesting. I'll never forget him. But I'm glad to have met you. Okay, well, that's nice. Okay, well, yeah, yeah. We, will, we will speak again. Have you seen an owl bear cub around? Have it? Um. <clears throat> uh. Could anybody tell me why there's a dead druid in the camp? I mean, I'm, I'm not really sure what to do with it. Him. Right, um, Let's just... Oh, out of curiosity, do you have more things to sell today? Oh, my good fellow. Quite the cosy setup you have here. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah. I'll make myself comfortable. Excellent. Thank you so Thank, much. Just, just... No, nothing. Oh, no, yes. Yes. And some thieves tools. You know what? I'm going to I'm gonna come back and sell you some stuff in a little while. But right now, I just want to make sure I'm getting a good collection of those. I've got some stuff to sell in the... Oh, you know what? All right, let's just... I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna go to this chest right now. I know, I know nobody wants to see that, but I... What's inside? Want to do it while I'm remembering what's inside. Okay, so... No, this... And, um, that's going in there, and all, that's not what I want to do, I wanted to sort by whatever, and then go, 
Pick up and add to wares. See? Look at that. Got a system going. Got a system going. Let's have a look. All right. Yeah, so I've spoken spoke to the dog. Ah, my good. Quite the cosy setup you have. Here. Yep. Stop talking. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you, sir. Add wares to offer, balance offer, barter. There we go. Right. Yes. I skip, skip, skipped him because he starts to get a little much. All right, who have I spoken to so far? I've spoken to you. I wanted to sort of do a roundabout system. Vincent Rocasera, 12 euro super chat. Thank you very much. Celebrate the first super chat from Vincent Rocasera. Thank you very much. Okay, hi. I had another dream. Yep. Which, I suppose, means you did as well. Mm hmm Whoever's reaching out to us truly does seem opposed to the absolute, but wants us to embrace the tadpole. Venture right into the heart of the cult. Yeah. Perhaps we truly have a secret protector. Or we're walking into a trap. Yeah. You wanna, do I want to talk about... What happened to all of us? I, I want to talk about what happened to all of us Fine. right now. What's on your mind? Um. Okay, no, never mind. Uh, right, yes. We'll we'll chat about the whole you and me thing next sleep. Uh, right now, I want to get everyone's opinion on this mysterious visitor, Astarion. I had another visit from yep. that dream figure. I take it you did too. It claims that if we infiltrate the heart of the cult that's giving out these parasites... We'll find the answers we're looking for. Yeah. It gave me another gift, too. Just like it did the first time it appeared. Rather generous, if you ask me. Right, whatever's in the heart of this cult, we have to find it by any means, Pomp. I don't like it. This whole thing feels like a trap. It's sort of... I don't know. We must be discreet. It's being generous. Doesn't that feel like a trap to you? It's beginning to feel like a trap to me. Hmm. On the one hand, you're right. On the other, don't be so wet behind the ears. Okay, then. Did you actually want something, or are you just here to spoil my fun? The latter. Oh, uh, so, mission accomplished. Um, really, really, Lazelle. Another dream. Another order from that dubious visitor. It announced that we will find the answers we seek in the Absolute Cultist's lair, and offered another generous gift. A persuasive creature. It tempts us with power, expresses its admiration, its adoration. Avert your eyes whenever it appears, and do not avail yourself of this new power, no matter how alluring. I'm kind of with you on this. no idea what damage it could do to us, how far into a lithid madness it could drag us. I'm with you on this. I'm with you on this. We can use skill to manipulate these cultists. We'd be fools to refuse it. Uh, I think the dream figure was right. Follow... Nah, I don't... I distrust them. Honestly, I don't want to use the power. I don't want to use the power, and I do distrust the visitor for some odd reason. So, you know what? I, I'm kind of with you on this, Lazel. Well chosen. Battles are won with swords, not mind games born of brain worms. Uh, well. And there will come a battle. Of that I'm most certain. The one truth that fell out of the dream figure's cankered lips. These dreams linger in my memory. Do you think that strange figure will come back? It is a certainty. I had assumed our parasite served a geish elder. But I believe they serve a greater master still. Right. The absolute is this master, I'm sure of it. Fever dreams born of parasite, they should be ignored. No, I think you might be right. I think the absolute is this master. Unless they're just using it. But you know what? No, that's. The, I think that's the best lead we got so far. Perhaps. Absolute may be a mere pseudonym behind which this master hides. Mm. Whatever this voice... Whomever this master, it dominates dreams and unites minds. Right, yeah. Now, 
Yeah, she definitely seems more, well, sensible than, well, a starion for sure. I had another dream last night. The visitor came to me and ordered me to penetrate the heart of the very cult that's spreading the infection. It gave me a tadpole gift too, just like it did the first time it appeared. I suppose it hoped this would help. At first, I thought we should avoid these gifts no matter what advantage we gain. And yet, I can't help recall the words of my father. The best plan is the one that works. These powers could be enough to edge us towards victory. Yeah. I'd sooner avoid using the powers if we can. I feel like we're being led into a trap. I feel like we're being used, to be honest. He keeps saying things like, I'm an adventurer like you, and I have a temple in my head, and I'm... I'm just getting the feeling we're being used. But yeah, I feel like we're being led into a trap. Then we do well to walk around it. Use these powers sparingly. If you must use them at all. Yeah, I mean, I'm not against using them a little where necessary, but I'm dead set against taking more of them. Well, not dead set. I'm sort of set against taking more of the tadpoles. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even dead I'm not even set on that. I just think it sounds like the devil's bargain again. I've been dreaming of our enigmatic visitor again. She told me our purpose was to take on this cult of the absolute, to infiltrate its ranks and bring it down from the inside. Yeah. She even offered me greater powers. The result of some manipulation of the tadpole's psionic abilities. Given the magnitude of what we're up against, I see no harm in considering the benefit this offer might afford us. Could be the only way to reach this source mm. in one piece. Uh, our tadpoles are part of the problem, not a solution. We shouldn't rely on them or our own powers. Yeah, to... this remains to be seen. I still don't trust this dream visitor's intentions. I don't. I'm sorry, I just do not trust them. I suppose you're right. We still see only a part of the picture, however much our visitor claims to show the full vista of options at our disposal. I can't deny my curiosity, but, as you say, no harm in delaying it, for now at least. Yeah. I think I have a magical... No, right, okay. All right, was that everyone? Was that... Can I speak to... I don't see an owlbear. Do you see an owlbear? I don't see an owlbear. Question. Is there anything I can ask you for? Fate spins along as it should. Okay, if you say so. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? Oh, there's a dude over there you could resurrect for us. Can you change my class? Uh, no, I'm good, I'm good. We'll talk about hirelings. Out of curiosity, what, what... Very well. Recruit a hiring. Dismiss a hireling. I'd like to talk about something else. No, I'm good, I'm good. Nope, apparently, apparently... You can't resurrect him. Has he been dead too long? Did the dog bring it in with him? Maybe we can use a scroll on him. Pretty sure I can't. I tried. Um, can't be resurrected. <laughs> See? Uh, I'm, we did try, believe it or not. All right, well, we're done. We are done. Let's get out of here. <laughs> okay. That's so funny. You haven't got some laughing curse, have you? <laughs> I really made it out of Avernus. It's incredible. All right, just keep it down. We're conspicuous enough without your hyena call. <sighs> yeah, he's such a downer for someone who calls everyone else, else out for being a downer. All right, then. We should help. We, well, we should definitely go and sort these paladins out. question is, is where the hell are they? Oh, wait. No, we can't get across here, can we? 
Uh, it's going to be a fog. Fog! I don't like the fog. We haven't met the gnolls that were plaguing the dog. Not that that's really an issue now, seeing as... Well, seeing as the dog is safely at camp. Okay. Oh. Could... Oh, hello. Dead toll collector. We've got the toll collector's key. Alright. What is off in this? Thing? Right, we're going under a bridge. Wish I could look up. I really... That's curious. Right. And inside is pale pink dye. Okay, we can probably use that to make somebody pink. Does anybody want to be pink? I'm thinking no and no. Definitely won't go with you. Could work for you. I don't think pink and my skin colour will go well. I, I might be wrong. I just, I feel like green might actually be a better mix, but, you know, maybe a stallion. Shadowheart. She could definitely pull off pink. Okay, so this is... Ah, leading up. Okay. Ah, we got another sigil. Okay, the Risen Road. Wait. Bodies everywhere. What? No, there's not. Accident or sabotage. Where are the bodies? I don't see any bodies. I don't see any bodies. That's curious. curious. <laughs> yeah. Can't believe I missed that, but alright. Where are the bodies? Arrow of lightning. We'll take, we'll take, we'll take. No, I'm not seeing any bodies. So what was I talking about there? Oh, up there. That's when it said, or accident. Right. This, I believe, is... Yeah, we could have gone up the other way. Oh, wow. Knolls! Pile of bones. Dead knolls. That wasn't ominous. Hyena ear. Okay. You're a charmer. You. Where am I needed? I want. I want Will. Here. I want a stallion. Off to the side, maybe. Is a. Don't think we're gonna get you hidden anywhere, but hey, we can always try. Let's keep to the shadows. And hey, good looking. Well, thank you very much. Okay. No one back home will ever believe this. Hyena ears. Lots of hyena ears. This feels a little brutal. What else have we got? Wow, oh, we got so many. All right, we'll check the bridge in a minute. Okay. Anything of use? Okay, wait, no. I don't need to go all the way up there. All right. Candle. Okay, then. So, ooh. One day I'll catch a break. I think we're just going to check around, actually. I know I told you all to get in position, but I want to check around. There's a rib cage. And inside the rib cage, there is nothing, because that's generally what happens with. Ah. Severed arm, severed leg. Hmm. 
Anything of in Hang on. Yeah. Those paladins I need to stop are that away. No, no, we're, we're, we're go we are going. Hey, we're still going after yeah, the yeah, paladins, yes. right? Yes. Can't leave Zariel's bruisers roaming the coast. I'm checking the back exit. Right. We're definitely going after them. No, no, we're definitely going after them. Good news. Can't wait to see him finished. All right, well, could you just wait one second? Auto hole. I'm not going to be going to a auto hole. I'm way too big. I just wanted to check around the back. All right. Well, then let's... Let's have a look. We've got the door and we've got a shabby wooden doors. I don't know which... What is it? Oh, I forgot you were sneaking. Right. Right, let's just... I, I feel like I want to get everyone... Whoa, 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 stop it. Quiet. I want you there. Sharp as ever. I want you... Is that poison or something? I want you. I want you Hang here. Off. I want Don't you. Don't be shy. No, I'm not shy. I'm just Up being... Two. All right. What now? A little cautious. No Malibu traps, ones. please. Okay. Moving ahead. Then I'm gonna. S oh, I saw someone on the other side. Right, you two. Da, 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 da. Come on, let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's have some fun. She's not a thousand so percent. Maybe I should. S okay. Don't ask Is me that why. Blood? I'm no, getting this. No, how much farther can I go? Feeling, we might want to chat first. Okay. I have something to ask. Keep that beast away from us, you hear? Me, the beast. Now that's fucking rich. Okay. What? Okay. We could go up. I feel that would be rude. All right. I'm, 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 I'm just, I feel like we should at least... Refugee. He's dead. Okay, hell, can I speak back to you again? Beast, back. Uh, there's a dead refugee over here. Who is this? Somebody with a potato. Okay. Uh, hello? You, devil! Stay back! Okay, nobody seems to want to speak to us. Please, no more. Leave us in peace and we shall leave you in kind. Okay. Cut the crap, Anders. I know what you are. Don't let her hurt us. Please, we just want to go home. Okay, insight. Assess his posture. Eyes. Is he telling the truth? Detect thoughts. Yeah, I'm not very good at that, apparently. Oh. Somebody just did something. Okay. Let's see if we can get some insight. Oh, no! Yes, just! Oh, my God. There's something in the squint of his eye. You suspect uh, he's lying. Uh -huh. Enough of this charade. I know who you really are. Enough. Enough. I'll not play pretend anymore. Okay. Karlak, you're going home in pieces of needs must. And you, you'll soon learn what it means to ally yourself with the likes of this garbage. Avernus was never my home. It was my prison. I'm free now, and I'm never going back! Okay, she mad. Um, right, so Astarion, you've got somebody behind you. Um, wait. Z? The subtle approach. Okay, so he can just... Stabby, stabby. All right, then. Oh! No. 
Uh, he doesn't need healing, so use your off weapon attack or your flourish. That's a dex save. This is just a bog basic attack. All right, come on. You're not going to finish up, but... Oh, nice one. Nice one. Okay. Uh, oh. Trin is about to damage Will. Missile snit. Oh. Reduce damage from a ranged weapon by 1 die 10, your plus your dexterity. This is... Who has the... He has the gloves of missile snaring. Of course he does. Okay. Right. I kind of want to go out and kill... Oh, wait. No. Is that only 50%? Are you actually kidding me? I've got a better chance of shooting them? Really? I mean, that's a first. All right, let's just... <laughs> what? What? What I even thinking? Can I even get that? Can't reach the destination. Um. So what else can I do that would be actually useful? I could flourish. I can flourish? I don't want to get in everyone's way, to be honest. So I think I'm just going to... Oh, there's a hatch over there. I sort of saw that on the way in, but... All right. On the victor's path. Who's... who's... Okay, right. So... Let's have a look. What do you have? Hex. Who has the most 44 aura of protection? All right, you know what? Wait, wait, wait. No, he has to pick one. Hex. Charisma. 1-6 necrotic damage. Is it all... Wait. Oh, does this just decide which which saving throw? Charisma. Wait, deal an additional yet when you attack the target and impart disadvantage on constitution checks. Okay. Not a thousand percent sure. What? Not totally sure what that is. Can I examine him? Constitution. So his worst is dexterity. Dexterity seems to be his worst. Or is it about his strength and charisma? Because... Oh, I, I impart disadvantage on charisma check. So it's mine. I have a charisma check and I impart... Or, no, wait. Am I misunderstanding this? Deal an additional damage when you attack the target and impart disadvantage on charisma checks. Does that mean it gives a disadvantage on the target's checks? Because then in which case I want... It's, it's the target's checks, not that I give disadvantage, as in, like, you could backstab them. What on mine? All right, then which one is the best one? I'm not totally sure. Constitution checks, maybe? Okay. Mm. All right, I'm going to go with Constitution. Attack you. I also need to move you in a little bit, don't I? Just a tad. Get out of everyone's way. Oh, and then do I want to do a... No. I want to... Eldritch Blast. Do I want the Eldritch Blast? Do I want Armor of Agatha? Oh, wait. Shouldn't I have done this? Shouldn't I have done this before the fight? I should have done this before the fight. Blade Ward. Take only half damage from bludgeoning. Oh, Cloud of Daggers. Then they'd have to run through it. But I think I'm going to send um, Karlak in there. Oh, or am I? Am I just going to start throwing the bloody spear? Hmm. Okay. Why would the thing give disadvantage on your own check? No, no. I thought it would give them a state of disadvantage. You know when people are disadvantaged, you can backstab them? I thought it would give them disadvantage if I passed a something check or something. I wasn't sure. It's, it's just... Right. Much stronger than her melee. Well, she definitely needs to throw, actually. Yeah, all things considered. So then, 
Really? I'm thinking Cloud of Daggers? Just so that they have to come through it while we all throw things at them. Oh no, I want them to be I want them to actually be in it, don't I? Yep, and Oh, that used that used both of them? Oh, it's level two. Okay. Alright, well he, he's still got Eldritch Blast. He's still got Eldritch Blast. Okay. Let's cut your fire, baby. And you, I want you to just Oh. Does she have anything quick she can do? Does she want to go frenzy? Or does she want to do extra fire damage? I feel like I want to see both. I'm going to let Astarian deal with this guy. Um. Oh, Hex uses a slot. Of course it does. Right. So, oh, well, get the roof out of the way. Why is the roof in the way? There. All right. Um. So, we want to be attacking this Hex. This Hex, does it do extra damage on everyone's attacks or just his? It's just his, right? So I should probably focus on her. Okay. Right. Frenzy. All right. We're going to try this. All right. Oh, wait. Did Does Frenzy take a... Does that take her action? No, it took the bonus action. Now, what's she got? Piercing shot, cleave, main hand attack, prepare, yada yada, reckless attack. She's also got enraged throw. But that's a bonus action. These are bonus actions. These are actually bonus actions. All right then, so we're just going to throw a normal weapon. Let's say normal. Let's see how much damage you do. Let's path is interrupted. Wait. Can we get rid of the roof? Will she not move? Will she not move? Can she not? Can she not move and throw? How is the path interrupted? How is the, how is the path interrupted? Zoom in. I don't understand what's interrupting it. Should have checked that first. Well, to be honest with you, I didn't think I had to. Why would I check if the path was interrupted on that throw, seeing as they're right there? There's a floor above them, isn't there? How do I, how do I see that? I don't. I mean, where? where where's the floor above them that's blocking this throw? Is it that? How is it blocking that throw? There's a roof. I, I get it, there's a roof, but look at the, the arc. Look at the arc. How is that? All right, okay, can she move? Can she move a little? No, path is still interrupted. How is she hitting? How is she hitting that when aiming at this person? Oh, and now this path is interrupted? Now she's interrupted there? What the actual is... I don't, I don't get it. I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure what's going on. I can't see what is actually blocking. And now the path to him is also blocked. Okay, so this is not... The cloud blocks it? I don't think it does, because we had a shot on him before. Move around the table? I don't think I can at this point. I, I think I'm screwed. I think we just... Oh no, I, I, can get, I can get him now. Can I get her? No, I can get him. The only problem is, is he's got Hex on him, so I was kind of hoping to take him... Oh, does he have Hex on him? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is Cloud of Daggers a concentration spell? Is Cloud of Protection a concentration spell? It's the blades. 
We've shot through blades before, and I've thrown through blades before. It is. Ah, so he doesn't have a hex on him anyway. He doesn't actually have a hex on him, so it doesn't matter. All right, we might as well take him down. It's, it's not... It's... Surely it's not the cloud of daggers. Surely. That's blocking. The cloud... The, the cloud of daggers is not blocking the shot. I'm, I'm pretty sure I've thrown... Your path is interrupted by the blade spell you cast. So the blade spell stops thrown items? Why didn't he throw before? And why could I throw him? He's in the cloud. He's in the cloud. How did I throw it at him then when he's in the cloud? It's not the daggers. It is the daggers and it's not the daggers. All right. And then my turn. Oh. Hold her. Oh. Oh! Damn! Whew. It may or may not be the daggers. Yeah, thanks. Alright, he doesn't need healing yet, so. Um, let's have a look how much health she got. Three. Main hand attack, no. How about the off hand attack? Can you kill her with this? Come on then. You can. Right. And then... You've still got... Can he get there? Oh, he can. Out of curiosity. He couldn't do a backstab. Can he? Oh! Okay. Alright, flourish or offhand attack. Alright, let's just. Okay. Okay, missile snaring! Okay, yeah, why not? Doesn't seem to be a downside to doing that. Oh! Oh, smart. Smart. Very smart. Um. Have a think. Right, it is time for a little bit of healing. Get some temporary health, and oh, that was my off. Right, let's have a look. Phantasmal force. Deal damage to creature each turn. No, I don't really like that. Um, but I don't actually have. Wait a minute. Arrow of lightning question. Let me let me guess. Path is forty oh I've actually low ground. I've actually got a shot at this person. Um but only a forty percent shot, so and honestly, they don't actually seem like Alright. Or should I just end you? Maybe I should just end you. So everyone can focus on the... I'm not going to I mean, 45% is pretty much zero chance of it, I think. You probably need at least 70 or 80 to have a chance. All right. I'm holding back. Ah. Uh, misty Step, he cannot use now, unfortunately. Um, and... I should say we take... Make sure we take... Oh, wait, no. Maybe... 50% path is interrupted. All right, no one. You. And then... Can we get... Oh, if we get him under there, she can't shoot him from down here. If he passes through the blaze, does he take damage? Oh, we established last time he did. So what... I want to make it so that... I want to make it so I go around. Can I do Two that? steps at a time. Can she shoot? Oh, she can if she looks over the edge, I guess. What's this? All right, what do you ha oh, What have we got here? End rage. Screw. Improvised melee weapon. No. 
can she throw from here? I've been mean, guessing there's zero chance. Wait, I can't even. I can't, I can't even. I, can't, I wish I could. I really wish I could look up. I really wish I could. Oh, I can scroll out. Actually, that works. Ha! This one's got an 80% chance of hitting. This one. What to do? Fuck them. Fuck Thalriel. I won't go back. I'm never going back. And if any of Mummy's little friends want to pick up where the others left off, they'll find nothing but a pile of ash. I failed my save. Of what? The flames are getting really big. Zarya won't go near you again. We'll make sure of that. That's right, she won't. She can't. She couldn't even lay a finger. <laughs> I love her. She's a... Wait. What the f... I'm sorry! Someone there. What? Wait, Will is... Will is... Will is... Okay, okay. Can't I... Soldier. What is going on? What, are, what is she doing? Apart from junking the plate. What happened to Will? What happened to Will? Where's... Where is Will? What is she doing? Is she going to destroy all the loot? Can I end the rage? I'm sorry, we've lost... Guess we're going back to the camp then. That ought to do it. I've got a long road ahead. Uh. Have you finished? Uh. A starian? What the? F uh. What path lies before me? Okay. Okay. Wait. Just Um, so, yeah. Whew. Had to let off a little steam after facing off with those ignots. Granted, the fire's lasting a little longer than it should. How do I look? Oh, you look awesome. Uh, hot. <laughs> uh, in more ways than one. Careful, soldier. If I burn any hotter, I might explode. Okay, okay. Hear that? Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Heartless. So I've been since I left Avernus. You're heartless. I'm a mechanic anytime soon, so I'll just make the most of the extra heat. Just don't get too close till I've found a way to calm it down. Yeah. Um. Only. Um. Uh, yeah. So how the hell did you get an infernal engine for a heart? High pain tolerance. And a dynamic duo of truly shitty bosses. But it's a bit early in the game to be getting into tragic backstories. Let's save the Scar show for later. After we've worked up an appetite for tragedy. Meanwhile, oh, I'll you. find someone who can tune up my engine sooner rather than later. Believe me when I say this thing is hot. Oh no, I, I, The first time I faced I down you. those paladins, they let slip there was an infernal mechanic in the area. Um. A tiefling. He might be able to stabilize things if I can find him. Oh, well, I'll definitely help you. Def I'll keep an eye out for someone like that, definitely. Thanking you. A tune up would give this rust box of mine a new lease of life. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm sure, sure it would. Um, so, um, they're dead. I mean, Anders, she's dead, which, which is good, which is good. I will, I will take all of his stuff and I'll, I'll take all of. Your stuff. But everybody, everybody's dead. They're all dead. Astarian? Dead. Will? Dead. They're all dead, Dave. Everybody's dead. Oh, don't mind me, I'm looting because it, it, 
helps me um, forget the fact that absolutely everybody is dead. What's in here? A cup, a tin cup. Maybe we should bring some water. That could be useful, couldn't it? Uh, the Lords of Madness, Volume Four, Yenog. Of all the demon lords, few have made their mark on the world as firmly as Yinogu. Though his ravenous hunger is claimed to be a mindless compulsion, there is nothing mindless about the thorough insinuation of his presence in the world via his chosen gnolls. But how are gnolls created? First, the chosen of Yinogu must do as their master wills. Kill. A hyena that then feasts upon the corpse of a chosen's victim, and a gnoll is born of the glutted belly of the hyena. Gnolls thus bore a born... Born a hunger manifest. They ravage any living be being, tearing body and bone asunder, leaving behind only bones. They care not for wealth or material gain, only to satiate their hunger. That satiation is itself an offering to Yinagu, funneled directly to him. Some might envy the Gnolls for such a tangible connection to their creator god, but that envy would melt to utter terror as soon as the beast's rotting breath and wicked cackles made their way through the dark of night. If you should find yourself the object of knowledge pursuit, burn your corpses, cover your scent, and pray to ever might aid you, for there is no bribing, begging, or reasoning with hunger incarnate. Well, we, we don't have to worry about burning the corpses, um... Because, yeah... Where, where is where is Will? I mean, seriously. I... There's a starion. There's some blood. There's Will. Yeah. So um. What's hiding here. I'm thinking we. I'm gonna take that potato now. Like I said. And I'm hearing something that needs a bit of investigation. Thing is, thing is, just I think we should head back and speak to Withers because well, yeah, we're down a few people. All right, let's see how this works. So, fate spins along as it should. So. Will Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? I'm gonna, I need a couple of resurrections. One guy ran into a cloud of blades and the other one burned to death. Not entirely sure if that was his own fault. He may have walked into fire. He may have been viciously stabbed by another member of the team. Um, one of my companions has fallen. May I entrust them to your watch for now? What the hell does that mean? I need you to resurrect someone. Then thou must return with the proper payment. What's the proper payment? I want to resurrect all of my fallen companions. I have 400. Here you go. This is the price of balance. It's gold. <laughs> I've changed my mind. They can stay dead for now. <laughs> no, just the gold. Well counted. I recommend keeping my distance for a moment. Uh, why? Uh, uh, By doom and dusk, I strike thy name from the archives. Rise. Did they? Will! How you doing? Feeling pretty stupid yet? I bloody hope so! Well, I got a bunch of stuff. I got a bunch of stuff that I'm going to check out next time. Because it's very, very late. Scrolls usually meant for resurrections mid-combat. Yeah, I figured saving, because I don't actually have that many of the resurrect scrolls. I got Oh, I got seven of them. I lie. <laughs> but aren't they worth, they're worth 700 each. 
I probably will use them a little more, but I wanted to see what Withers would do anyway. Will just ran through his own knives. We're still not sure about Astarian. He may have been killed by Karlak. But there's a little side of me's kind of okay with that. <laughs> I probably need to heal her, though. I mean, yeah, I probably do. All right, you know what? Will that do? That'll do. She's fine. She's got three temporary extra anyway. All right. Huh. Wow. Astarion burned. He did burn to the... Was that her? Did he burn because he was near her? <laughs> it's not funny. It's totally not funny. Not even at all. So is that going to happen every single fight? <laughs> is it possible, by the way, to ungroup mid-combat? I'm thinking that might be a good idea. Can you, if you're in mid-combat, can you ungroup? As I'm, just, I'm just thinking maybe from now on. No, you can't. I'm just thinking, once combat is over, I might want to be hitting that ungroup button very quickly. <laughs> just in case. Because they do seem to be somewhat stupid. I mean, a Starion could be forgiven. He can't burn to death. <laughs> but, um... You know... A Starion... Um, Will, he just ran through his own blades. I might not use that blade spell anymore if, if Hex is a good idea. Oh, a short rest would actually get him his spells back, right? I probably shouldn't have healed Karlak. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait on that. I will wait on that. You can ungroup in the middle of battles. I'm going to start doing that. I am going to start doing that. Uh, probably not going to short rest uh, because I've already used my heals. But um, you need to cancel the dangerous concentration spells. Right, I, I guess. But will I be able to do that before one of them runs through it if I'm grouped? That's the big question, isn't it? <laughs> that was kind of insane. But, you know, hey. <laughs> oh. I'm surprised the stadium didn't make some snarky comment about it. Maybe activate turn-based mode immediately after combat. That could also be a point. A, a way to do it. But I think if you if you ungroup them, they just stand where they end, which is probably what you want. So Cancel is below the bottom portrait. Probably. I mean, I, I'll figure them all out. I'll figure them all out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, the fight went pretty well. Apart from, I'm sorry, the, the path interrupted thing's a little freaky in this game, if you ask me. I mean, it might be a thing that's typical of Larian games. Quarico uh, would know better. She was the she was the ranged damage. Well, she was the bow user um, in Divinity: Original Sin 2. I'm just throwing fireballs and stuff, so I I just need a straight line. So, but she used a bow which has an arc, I believe. So she she might actually say, nope, nope. Larry and about at this in all games. So. <laughs> oh. Oh, I tell you. Quarico? I need to replay this game with a red prince. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Larry and definitely make games where you. you can hump a lot. 
Although I've not seen anything that compares so far in this game. Nothing compares to Divinity Original Sin 2. I mean, Divi Divinity Original Sin 2 has got so many ways of snogging, shagging, and I mean, the things the Red Prince has made out with it just doesn't bear talking about. Oh. <laughs> uh... Just you wait. Hey! Spider Demon! Fiery Slug Queen! <laughs> My boy's been doing it all! <laughs> oh! The Red Prince is a bit of an exception. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is exceptional. <laughs> G-Man and Q in multiplayer, but <laughs> it's it's a shame we can't bring over um, the Red Prince. Multiplayer and I'll fight you on the romances. Hey, Quarico, be my guest. I'll, I'll accept that challenge because so far I'm thinking um, it's, uh, what, nine or ten successful ones for the Red Prince. And um, what was that with Loser again? <laughs> anyway, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get out of here. Um, we will be back on Sunday for Divinity Original Sin 2, assuming, you know, Australia's not on fire or something. There is a Grand Prix. And it is in Australia, but it's stupid o'clock in the morning, so it will not interfere with the stream. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's Australia, right? Hmm? Yeah. Might get kangaroo kicked a little bit to the left or something, and they lose their internet. Um, anyway, so <laughs> hopefully <laughs> the, those adventures will continue on Sunday over on Twitch. Uh, keep your eyes open in the Discord channel. And, of course, you never know, I might do a random stream of this. It, it could happen. I can't promise it. Anyway, gotta go. It is late. Good night.